back on it after the big buffs that we saw on 9.6 Ender. And now with Gangplank being locked in, that will indicate it is going to be an Urgot in the jungle he here. Go for trades. He actually loses it a lot, so he's... Oh, bot lane! Robert has to flash away. He gets oh. a lot of damage down with the feathers, but it's first blood to crown shot. They'll trade it. No Skaven gets one in response, but... Itemize 4 AD with the Warrior, Black Cleaver, even a Guardian Angel is a viable oh. option. That makes him very potent. Oh my Human god! Human Ice check straight what? in the spell shield. Not gonna... No one's there to respond. Zerzi is gonna try to steal. Just Just Aaron goes in. self -made gets it. Zerzi with a fear beyond death, but the stopwatch from Dream stops it in its tracks. There's a true shot barrage as well. It doesn't quite connect, but SK get the dragon, and that's all they wanted. They get out. Oh, there's oh. kill top lane! Dragon and the solo kill top dies. lane. Beautiful stuff there from Whirlip as well. Herald play and use that to eventually break this tower. Unlocks the entire map. Basically means that Every time you push minion waves down mid lane, the other team has to wait a couple of spawn with some vision of their own, but it looks like SK might be taking the fight here. Dreams face check straight into Humanoid the Binding, gonna connect. Puts down the unbreakable. Here comes North Garen from the side with the charm, but Wellip's on his way up. Humanoid already killed Dreams, but North Garen falls as well. Wellip gets onto the back line, and Humanoid with a great soul shackles will catch him out. Stuns him up. Humanoid has to flash the wall, and now SK. Oh, a superb play call. Oh, Churchy! And Churchy jumps in with a parlay. Churchy there on the front line. Zersi has, has the level advantage, and he will get the dragon. So made flashes out of the back and Spice equalized that dragon score. To, to funnel into that next tier, to get the CDR and get towards stacking. Now, oh my god, oh, Chachi just melted underneath the tower. Well, it gets the 1v1. Two tower shots, one more would be enough, but it doesn't. Right now, Wurlip is proving that Visage actually comes. Here we go. He's going to force the 4v4. The charm comes out. They root up on his dreams. Crown shot across the wall. Over here comes Pyrian. Fear beyond death will knock him back as Zerzi locks him up. Crown shot down to Kobe. Pops the feathers oh. and manages to survive. Eventually dunked down by self made or scaring now across the wall. Will be forced away as well, but Splice come out on top in the fight. Kobe's Kobe top side of the map. And it was such a big fight as well because Wurlip didn't have his teleport to join in. can do to turn it around in their favor. That was the most important part. Part. Splice singling out those two members and immediately punishing them while Selfmade was trying to take the Herald. SK didn't have the grouping needed to try and fight back against that comp, and that's why you can see Kabi flashing into the back lines, because that usually should never happen. And when we think about win conditions now, we think about how are both these teams looking to try and win these games, Splice will want to try and create more of those scenarios. They SK aren't out of it yet, but well, it might be caught out. Zersi just waiting until Wurlip goes in. Can use that Devastating Charge to get away, dodging around as much as he can. Goes in, onto Chachi. Zersi will knock him back with a Disdain, and the Fear Beyond Death just pulls him in. Wind condition for SK is being shut down. Yes, he has found two solo kills up against Visit Chachi, but the question is, can he actually get... Diving on the back line, you've got Humanoid with the ability to catch someone out. And now there's no Hecarim with them at the moment. SK are trying to walk into the river, but they don't have the front line. It's only a cloud check. They almost take down Noskana straight away. They do get him. The Vivian that's been used here as well. Dreams will fall as well, but a great true shot barrage. Zersi running away. There's the teleport. On Sword of Shadows is available for Wurlib. Well, I do feel the teleport could have come out a little bit sooner from Wurlib. Ultimately, the fact that they could chain... Uh... Don't place check into Zersi. There's the GLP. Slow comes out, binding connects, and now Xerxes can go in with the disdain, knocks him back. Here he is, stunned up, pulled back into the grinder. And Xerxes on a rampage, 4 and 0 on this Urgot jump. 4,000 HP should be an easy enough secure here for Splice. Xerxes will secure it, and that is a great Baron take. 25 minutes in from Splice it's to get a... to safety. Spice still feels a little bit like they're hankering for a fight here. North Scaven gonna go in with the charm, but doesn't connect on anyone. He jumps back, the root lands onto Dreams. Once again, the Fear Beyond Death will pull him back. He's done, one for nil, and Spice continue forward, stepping forward, straight in. The flash in from Zersi, straight up to the back line. That's two. Spice looking for a little bit more as they get the GLP, but Wurlip has to use the ult defensively, and Spice are just breaking down the, the structures of SK. Spice were able to completely split up SK in that fight. It's a beautiful engage in the mid lane. I don't even know why SK are there, but Splice see the opportunity, playing for the fight, and they get the in him. SK oh, have, don't have the defense to hold on to the line. Splice have all five members. They have a cannon minion as well. They could look to end the game right now. Second inhibitor, and if they can, it makes the next Baron oh so easy, and the close from there, a piece of cake. Shot is 40% CDR, which is very, very valuable on the Ezreal. I'll be honest, it's not something I've seen a lot of. Turns. They do turn straight onto him, but Selfmade flashes away. Pyrian now coming in from the side. Feather Storm. Oh, this is huge! Use. Look at the damage! Well, and already, Humanoid is dead! Well, they're coming in with the Onslaught of Shadows. They'll get two is a shutdown for Pyrian. And now Xerxes caught out. Or Skaven fighting Selfmade up towards the top side. Xerxes gonna fall as well. It's another shutdown for SK. They're gonna take four for nothing! As Splice started the battle.
Baron, but met their demise. It's a miracle team fight for SK. Pyrian goes in right at the start and burns the defense from Kabe. He has nowhere to go from that point, and SK have found a way right back into this one. And huge question marks for me with regards to Splice. There was no teleport from Vizichachi. SK, they were able to just walk through all of that vision and get the ideal team fight. Norskaren engaging onto the Java. Short to fall. Double can away, pushing in, but maybe Splice is going to group up as a five and look for the team fight. The tower goes down, still LeBlanc pushing in the bottom lane. Selfmate just always have questions about where you assign your oh, lane. Maybe. And Selfmate's just going in. Kobe called out, but he uses the Feather Storm to survive for the moment. He's down to the True Shot Barrage, and SK have somehow turned this around. Chachi jumped up by World up on the back line. Zerzi trying to do what he can. Almost takes out Pyrian, but he'll escape. North Scaven, low. Dreams low, but SK are the ones coming out on top. That's another kill for World He gets a double. Called out by Humanoid underneath the tower. Zerzi will knock him back, but the Sterak Shield will keep him alive for the moment. Humanoid has to flash away, and still, SK are the ones on the front foot. Without Kabe, Splice just don't have the damage. SK do not have much health on multiple members, but Pyrian teleports back in. They have a minion wave, and the death timers are oh so long for the side of Splice. Of a single call, SK could have turned this game straight on its head. They were back in their base. They were beaten and bruised, but somehow they've turned it around, and Splice are now the ones defending their Nexus Towers. It's all on Humanoid. He has to do it all here with Five Cersei seconds on Kabe. as well. Five seconds on Kabe. Only can away there. Cersei hits the fear beyond death. They'll take down Dreams. They get a consolation prize, but for it, they lose so much. Splice. Find the pick. Crown Shot just teleported up towards the top lane here as well. Splice know that they can try and make a fight here, but they're being collapsed on oh! all four sides. Crown Shot just melts North Scaven, but will he pay for it with his life? You will. That's him down, and now Selfmade's in the middle of three members of Splice. Well, it comes in, joins the party, pops the onslaught of Shadow, gets the knockback. Here comes Pimmy and Dive. Kumo, perfect stop on just in time. Fear beyond death will take down one, and Splice now have two. Selfmade almost. Dreams trying to get some vision behind the tower there. Will be cleared out with that. Oh, what do you say? Zersei goes in, lands it only onto Dreams. Once again, he steps in front of his AD carry, and he will go down. North Scaven still on the chase, can't quite catch up to Whirlip, though. And SK will get out, only lose it. One man, but Chachi can the backside! And his crown shot, who gets the kill? One for one trade. He is giving his life away as well. So now it's a 4v4, oh. Perrion is alive, and SK have started the Baron. Zersei's still alive here, doesn't have the flash. There's no blast code for him to get in either. SK still on that Baron. It's Whirlip and Selfmade who are doing it. Crown shot caught out, uses the scimitar to get away. And Splice still trying to find an avenue in here, trying to see if they can spot it out, North Scaven jumps in, Zersi with the fear beyond death, the Baron down so low, it gets oh, secured, and it's Crown Shot, shot who gets it. 50 seconds, every single one of these engagements means so much for these two. Ludens Echo to pick up a Bloodthirster now, a bit more sustain in these fights, if you can get it, there's an Elder Dragon on the cards, Crown Shot down towards the bottom side, Glacial Fisher used, they jump onto Humanoid who flashes away, but now Zersi caught out with a... Concussive blows, Humanoid so low, the charm comes out, Humanoid still alive on the back line, Zersi oh! will fall, Whirlip gets Humanoid, and he's still alive, and the rest of SK can come in here, because already they've taken down two, Kobe tries to pull the feathers back, Pyrian low as well, forced away, but SK come out on top and they force Splice away. And look at Crouch on, he's running straight for that bottom lane inhibitor, while Selfmade and the rest of the team are avoiding, they're double TPing in, they must stop the bases, because right now, there's one Nexus Tower standing in the way of SK's victory. Selfmade stops them in their tracks for the moment, Kobe North Scaven and Chache is all on you to defend, but Pyrian is already there. And with the Ezreal W, you can take that tower so easily. Well, it's now on the Nexus. And in a game of inches, it looks like SK are the ones to strike first. The shutdown comes out from Crowdshot. And they were an inch away from losing, but SK take game one. Right. Uh, makes uh, uh, playing Skana that much harder. Yeah, so it definitely doesn't go into that side lane idea that I was thinking SK were going to go. Yeah, that's definitely a scary champion, right? So in, in terms of scaling, ooh, we have to look at this gank. Predator coming in, North Scaven. Jumps in, gets the impale, straight onto the Tom Kench. Can't devour himself, charmed up as well. Uses the thick skin, though. Self-made on his way. Dream's still alive. Crown shot, very low. Kobe will get the first kill. The second goes to North Scaven. Void Rush used there by Self-made, trying to get onto the Kobe. Oh. will get him out in response. Chachi teleports in now, and that's three quick kills to Splice in the bottom lane. Kabe did not have the mana to use his... ...over his lane opponent. He will be able to secure this tower, and he will uh, boost that gold advantage even further. And now you're looking at Visage Chikes for something that ripped SK apart the last time that these two teams... Yeah, especially because Splice like the Ash arrow, but ultimately you don't have a strong frontline, and that means that if you get counter ganked, it could be bad. There is the arrow. Lands on the North Scaven, but he pops the quickness, and Xerxes there in time. Dreams will devour up his jungler self-made, spat out to the back, but the impale comes down, and that is a very dead crowd shot. Splice 
strike in once again. Oh man, and Splice have so many tools to stall the initial engage as well. This is one of their biggest strengths in the draft is when they go for these compositions that punish every mistake that can stay alive for so long. Big right now. Now look at Visit Chachi. He is on the flank. Will be spotted out by World oh, of Oh, strength of Rusko and drowsy it up. He's asleep. Submit's gonna get the knock up, and that is a very dead cannon. SK find the pick they want. From SK, but you can see it has to be off the back of a mispositioning or a mistake from Splice. So knowing even Chachi here. Chasing out Whirlup, there's no, there's no tower. Whirlup has nowhere to go. Shuriken will hit and uh, Chachi should just be able to chase him down. Whirlup trying to get the tether off, will land it, but the stun comes out as well. There's the slicing maelstrom and Chachi just gets the 1v1 kill. Easy enough stuff for this out. 6,000 HP on the bound tower behind. coming in behind by Chachi. Maybe they'll take the fight afterwards. Little Scarin jumps Ooh. in. A massive charm. Here comes Zerse as well. There's Blast going for him. Chachi splashes oh. in. Pyrian gets the bound, but here comes Chachi slicing through SK. Dreams use the thick skin to survive, and we go into a little bit of a freeze frame. As self made locked out on the backside. The sleep lands on Humanoid, but he'll cleanse it away. SK, Dream members strong. Four will all get out. Can Dream survive as well as Little Scarin? Chachi jumps. ultimate because no, it didn't do any damage, and it's because every single member on the side of SK has some form of MR. Zersi no flash to jump on the back line here. SK just poking out as much as they can. A little bit reminiscent of game one. We saw Splice fail around the Baron there. They've done it once again as SK push in towards that middle lane. Double cannon wave. Pyrian just landing those sleepy trouble bubbles from the side, poking out, and Splice have to back away once again. And you talked about earlier how we can use this Zoe. This is a perfect example now. They have the pressure, they have the super minions, and noticing how obnoxious this Zoe can Look be. this ultimate. It just does no damage right here. Dreams gets a massive shield on the back half of it. And SK now pushing down towards this bottom lane. Like, they are the team that have made the proactive course. They're the team that see how Pyrian using the terrain to get those sleepy trouble bubbles back towards the back line. Humanoid had pushed down, but now has rejoined his team. There's the Tom Kench as well. And look at, just look at Zerse. He's like, what can forward. he do? How'd you get anywhere near the Asher? Slows you consistently. Norskaren tried to jump into the back line, but already Zerse down to basically no HP. Norskaren's still alive. Humanoid using the soldiers as the best he can alongside that Sundis. But he's going to get Whoa. chased off. Wind rush straight into the back. Immediately pulled in with the Impel, but Selfmade goes golden with the cleanse. The QS. He's still alive. He's still alive and he gets out. Feather Storm used from Kabe. Almost burst down in one, but all of Spice are just limping back towards their fountain as SK break into their base. SK lost the Baron, but they don't even need it. They take down the inhibitor. They have a minion wave in the top lane as well. They're not going to make you in mind. There are flashes on all the primary engage tools of Splice, and they want to fight. No Scarin flashes in, lands the charm onto the devoured crowd shot. Here comes Chuch as well. The Slicing Mouse is straight onto the back line already. He's taken down one. It's the shutdown. Void was used by Humanoid. It's going to push well and back into the team. And Splice have found the fight they needed. They found the comeback. And it's only Pyrian who walks away alive. Splice had the spells and they found their fight with Baron up. They want to look for one more kill. Pyrian is on the run, but hey, Splice, there's some speed boys. There's not many places Pyrian can go from here. Sleepy Trouble Bubble will connect the flash away of the Paddle Stars. 5,000 HP left on the Baron. Gonna be secured. Temple actually used here. Crown Shot coming in. The Baron does fall and immediately Crown Shot runs away. Realizes that he can't do much more here. Just try to keep He's tier one tower and finally take it down, but they cannot wave the it. Oh, okay, finally they'll be able to get it past her. If she hits you and you don't hit her, fun fact, doesn't matter what items you have, she's gonna win that trade. She hits Kobe, the sleep comes out, Kobe uses the QSS, but immediately the arrow comes out. Not scary with the charm, the shut down! And as you predicted, Betty is if Zoe hits you and you don't get it, it's not much, but Shot three onto the back line, takes down one. Humanoid shuffles in, Empyrean flashes away. Dreams will be the second to follow. It's a 3v3 now. It's World of Empyrean just back away. Selfmade does have a flank position if they want to. Chachi still has the flank position. Ultimate just about up as well. Elder Dragon down to about 3,000 HP. They're trying to catch out Chachi, but the Elder Dragon solo. There's a flash. Chachi jumps onto the back line. The quickness used as well. Dreams is assassinated. Crown Shot trying to survive on the back. Humanoid shuffles away with oh. the void rush from Selfmade. Self chasing him. Selfmade takes one. Empyrean goes down as well, but now it's all a crowd shot. Kami comes in from the side. The Blade Caller pulls it back! It's a triple for Kami, but now he's in a 2v1 situation! Self-made and Whirlib against Kami, the only man left alive on the side of Splice, and SK somehow come out on top. And while this whole fight was going down, minions were pushing in the top side. Right now, Whirlib is shoving up that middle lane. All Self-made has to do is stop Kami from getting back to base. There's no ultimate, no flash on towards Kami. Self-made might be able to one-shot him if he can get on top, but he can just wait. He doesn't have to find the engage. Self-made is hunting. 
He's trying to do what he can. You can see Wurlip up in the top lane right now, working through these objectives. The other members of that team, so he follows up on towards Humanoid, and with that, they get the Baron. SK get the Baron, but already Splice have gone across the yeah, Elder Dragon, sorry, it's already down so low. No Scammer tried to stop him. That's the smite coming out from Zersi. They'll secure it. Void Rush used by self made, but he's going to be sacrificed, and SK will take the trade. Elder oh, right Ooh. there. He went straight in the back. Don't, don't know about that one, buddy. Not having the ultimate. What will be the case is if Splice can be proactive and pull the trigger. They have flashes available. They can look to just die. And when they have a numbers advantage, they are this strong, there's no reason why they should be afraid of doing so. Able to tower goes down in the bottom lane. Chachi pushing in mid. Six seconds left on self. He's off to the Predator, looking for the flash in Pale if you can get it, but they just force all of SK back, and they take the inhibitor in the bottom lane at the 41 minute mark. Good decision making there from Splice. They knew that even with the Baron buff, uh, oh, no, he was waiting around the corner, not scamming down quite low, but already Pyrian has fallen and Splice tried to pull the trigger. They thought maybe SK would overstep and only. While the ulti from Noscarin isn't available, it is from Charge. I thought that was going to be it. <laughs> he decided not to go for it. A couple of flashes still available on the side of SK, but they're showing that respect they're backing off. The Devour used as well, though, already by Dreams. Crown Shot doesn't have the for SK. They need this to happen, and every time, somehow they make it happen. And that's why they've kept this game going. Wicked Chachi, Wicked Chachi, he's not on a single ward. If he can find the chunk of SK all funneled in towards this corridor, the ward will ward spot him in. early. 4,000 HP left on the bounce. Everyone's jumped into that pit as well, but here comes Chachi. North Scaven jumping onto the back line. There's the slicing Maelstrom. Here he already down, but North Scaven falls as well. Self made on the back line. Crown Shot's still alive. Self made, able to escape towards the back of the pit. We'll use that tunnel network and Humanoid down to about 30 HP. Self made Still alive, Kobe goes down, gets one side, he takes down Dreams, and the Baron's still Crouch alive, though. Humanoid, oh! Crouch and Joseph shuffles him back, pushes him away, and that is the Baron going over the Splice as well. This should be the game. We'll teleport in, we'll finish off this inhibitor, and Splice want to even it up. Splice did everything they need to in that final fight with only two members standing in their way. There's little SK can do to stop them. Splice looking to equalize this series. They take down the two inhibitors, and now it's just the Nexus Towers in their sights. Ten seconds on Pyrian, ten on Dreams as well, but they're not going to be up in time to save SK's base. And Splice just looking to equalize the series. Here self -made. takes down one, then he gets popped into his GA. The second Nexus Tower will fall, and Splice will strike back and tie us up at one and one. to be whether or not it's top lane Jarvan or or the Gragas and they go with the Gragas in the jungle they're gonna match with the Jarvan and now I'm just wondering like are, is the rest of SK are actually making their way up here he goes he goes in with the EQ world of chased away here by Xerxes but self-made on his way with the Predator looking for the body slam lands onto one Chachi flashes away Xerxes gets the unboa Chachi trying to turn it around Xerxes Fury they get him well it will answer with one of Hyrion on his way up Chachi no flash of course well trying to get away knock Rex back with versus Gragas and what I really want to focus more on right now is just how the early game looks because okay. you'll notice that across the board Spice actually have advantage yeah, I think the idea here is that at two items you're gonna hit 40% uh, CDR very early on as we see an all in top. Yeah, well it went in with the EQ combo. Chachi just trades back onto him and Humanoid coming in. The flash forward. There's the Glacial Prism. Locks Whirlib in place. The stopwatch isn't going to stop time for long enough. Cataclysm's EQ's oh. away. Humanoid with the Glacial Path across the wall. Still has the chase potential. Nice shard will connect and a long range shot blast is enough. And the potential dive. Um, but there is a TP available on Vizzy Chachi as well. Dream's tanking up the tower here. There's three tower oh. shots actually caught out. Kobe gets so much damage down with the life form disintegration rate, but it's not quite enough. They oh, This is where I'd play games. coming down. Ooh, they don't know. The and there's the hook straight onto Zersei. Knocked back Ooh. with the play as well, and he's down. Dreams gets him. Humanoid now running for the wind as Selfmade comes in from the side. Doesn't have the cast available, and Humanoid will just be able to get back to his tower. That was the great debate there from Pyrian. Zersei thought he had him, but brilliantly oh. done. Now Crunchout has to flash. Flashes away from the dubstep beat that Vedius was expecting from with that tectonic disruption. Infernal Drake on the card here for SK is the second of the game. We talked about the splitting of the map for Splice playing towards that top side. This is what you sacrifice. Now, Kobe misses the tectonic disruption, did have the ultimate if he wanted to go for the steal on the Infernal. Instead, SK will get it. Four members down towards the bottom side. That's their second Infernal, 14 minutes in. Surprised that we relatively happy because with the gold earned from Triple H, 1440 on the side of Splice, they have the early money they need to finish a snowball, whereas SK are comfortable falling down a little bit early on and relying on their team composition as well as the double Infernal Drake scaling to really take... Oh, 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 wait a second. Not enough to take down Crown Shot, but uh, almost there. 
Tower will fall in the bottom lane. I did have a look back. The Abyssal Voyage was cancelled with a zap from Crown it's, Shot. It's really difficult right now for SK to actually force anything. And their best bet is to just slow the game down as much as possible. They want to get side to... wave experience as well. You can see Chachi and Humanoid in the side waves. SK will need to be getting all of that CS, or at least as much of it as possible, without giving up too much in the mid lane. Visa Chachi is just doing such good work right here because SK did it a little bit early, I think, they Fresh drew on towards the bear. And a few minutes ago, I asked, would Spice be able to have a cleaner mid game? Well, it seems to be exactly that, as Whirlib engages down towards the bottom side of Abyssal Voyage used in here, but Whirlib just chased out by Chachi. Xerxes there with a flash forward to chase him down. That's one. Norskem and Kobe are here to join this fight if they are needed. Not only is the jungler here, but so is the Tom Kench. And I think that this is such a valuable asset in these 1-3-1s, one because it just limits even further the options for SK. And you also have to ask the question, so does Xerxes, what is Chachi is pushing up towards that top bottom lane. He's on the inhibitor already. Here goes Humanoid, jumps into the middle of the mall. The Ring of Frost, they're on Superior, but he shuffles them back with the soldiers. Organic destruction from Kobe as they take down one, and they're just going to clean them all up. Splice, rout, SK. SK had one shot, and they missed it by a mile, and Splice take them all out. Splice were just way too far ahead. They call in the TP. They find the fight around the Baron, and look at this. Kabe playing the bot lane. Velkos has the TP. Are they just going to look for the end? Because they've got three members in the base. It looks very good for Splice right now, and uh, I think they're going to go for the game off the back of a single team fight. Splice are looking to take an edge in the series. This has been so clean from Splice. Moment by moment, they knew exactly what they were doing, and after an impeccable early game, an impeccable mid game, Splice are one game away from winning the, this round of playoffs. Oh, especially Callista Morgana, is actually a very high pressure lane where you can generate a, uh, a lot of push. So we may see the Galio in the mid lane as an answer to the Syndra. Now, seeing the Shenlong... Well, is there any way you guys would want to look first? Any way you'd want to discuss first? Well, uh... Ooh, oh, no, wait a no, level one flash! Oh, he has no flash! With a taunt, he's got no flash! And Splice themselves, they see a lot of, you know, hard CC on the other side or in these fights. They need to stay safe. Wait a second! Crownshot, one more order would have had the concussive blows, but the Ignite comes out and Crownshot rends down Braum. Flash away from Dreams, flashing by Kobe. One more order! Oh, oh it's enough! He gets him! Not going to chase him underneath the tower, but ends up being apping around there and providing vision. Even though there hasn't been a gank, you just saw Crownshot was forced to reset, to miss a minion wave. They lost a plate down in that bottom, the bottom side of the map. Going for the dive. No scaring there with the Glacial Fisher. Catch out Dreams. Kobe's gone very deep. Self made there. Lots of damage coming out. There's a Hero's Entrance as well as Self made pops. The Void Seeker gets one. Unstoppable Onslaught comes out from Whirlers. They jump onto Cersei as well. And that's a second. Two kills across to SK as they counter the dive. The tower dive is just kills. way too greedy here from Splice. He's thrown everything towards the top lane to try and secure the first tower of the game. They just about get it. Kobe was actually hitting minions for a little while there. Maybe would have been able to get the tower if he had decided. Splice controlled bot side. They have all the control words to dominate the vision. Humanoid caught out, decided not to use the cleanse. Taunted straight away, uses the cleanse, but the Soul Shackle's gonna come down as well. He pops the Unleashed Power onto Pyrian. Dreams gets the kill. Down towards the bottom side, the Void Rush comes out himself. Made double knock up though, and Kobe can open up with this vein. They're gonna catch out Dreams, who goes golden. Crown shot caught in the Cataclysm, running Here away. Comes Whirlip. Dreams down towards the bottom side. Whirlip coming in. The knockback with the decimating charges on Kobe. Crown shot will take him. Dreams will die, and still Whirlip holds off on the ultimate. SK come out on top in the fight though. Ends up being a two for two, but as you rightly said, SK are the ones that come out on top there the one setting up a siege onto this tier one and will secure more plates. And honestly, the amount of time that Spice were able to stall out as Chachi now in Chachi danger. Chachi chased out. He was baiting for a long time there. Just tried to keep fighting against Whirlip, but couldn't do anything. That the cleanse should have just come out immediately from Humanoid. The fact that he holds onto it for too long means he doesn't actually oh, dodge from the top this. area of the map. It becomes very easy for Perian and Whirlib to knock down this tower. And look how far forward they are. They're sitting inside of the bush looking for... Here, guys, and I pre warned you about that. I am a so, really good player. Oh, Noskaren's actually fighting in the bottom lane. Crown Shot uses the hero's entrance. Noskaren forth back. Selfmade gets behind them. Kobe having to jump away with the final hour. Dreams tries to get underneath the tower, but can't land the taunt. Zerse here in time. Whirlib diving under the tower as well forced back. Pyrian was coming in from the side and Splice should just give up the pressure on this tower. They can't fight against all five members of SK. SK had the players down here, the numbers advantage and they will get the tower, but I actually think it's a big mistake from Selfmade at the start. He saw blood in the water on Kabe. What Selfmade is able to do on this wreck site, it feels like that his presence in counter ganking towards the bot side of the map. As we can see, a lot of AD is being built on the side of SK, <laughs> uh, but I love the fact that they're just not slowing down. And much worse um, if it weren't for the use of Flash from Moscarian. So 
Humanoid needs to be a little bit more. That Rek'Sai should be fine. Now, one of the strengths of Rek'Sai is she actually has one of some of the highest AD ratios in the game. You're going to get a lot of value. Judge with the taunt onto Crown Shot, but he cleanses the flashes away. Backline jumped on here by Xerxes, but already he forced out. Great taunt by Dreams. Tunnel coming in. There's the Glacial Fisher. Well, have knocked back. He uses the onslaught of Shadows defensively, but here's, here's the hero's entrance. Fate's call comes out. Self made on the flank. Has that Infinity Edge. Remember, he could crit someone. <laughs> oh, 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 he's oh, he's doing it. Infinity Edge does all the work. Kobe almost Ultim. dies. Ultim, there power. we go. He void rushes <laughs> in, but the Stand United is too much. He got the kill, but no, then the Stand oh, United. Oh, Northgate gets caught out. Okay. So now they're going Baron. Stand Wait, United they're doing Baron game. while Selfmade is dead. With the Stand United. Just come back off. Just push mid, take Infernal. It's actually free. As a note, I have been informed by production that Selfmade two days ago tweeted, Infinity Edge is the only viable second item on Rek'Sai. Right. But he didn't build it in the earlier game. Just saying, just saying, that's what he tweeted out. Now, mid lane tower goes down. Good call on that end. SK can on now pull Infernal down. Dragon here. Crown shot there as well. Spice maybe looking for the fight because they've split up SK. Worm has the flank. There's the Infernal. That's all the buffs going over to SK straight away. Chachi has a few spears in his back. Whirlib caught out with the scatter of the week. Crown Shot's in the pit. Whirlib has the possibility of an onslaught of shadows here, but SK just wanted to disengage. Crown Shot can jump across the wall, remember, with the pierce if he needs to. Actually, Pierce oh. is going to jump in the face. Call comes out. SK want the fight. Splice, the front line is Chachi. Humanoid in from the side. There's the glacial prison. Cersei caught out by Whirlib. Oh, it's all on Kobe. Watch the AD carries here. Kobe steps forward into the hero's entrance. Knocked up. And look at the damage coming out from SK. That rune answer from Crown Shot's doing absolute work. Chachi takes oh. one. We have a little Stutters game as Kobe's still on the front line. He gets what? Can Kobe's Kobe alive. do it? He's still alive. He gets self made. He gets Pyrian. Somehow Kobe managed to survive and takes down two. And Pyrian and Whirlip have to run for the wind. SK get the dragon, but they lose the fight. It is Kabe who stays alive, and now it's Chachi hunting down the horse. The taunt doesn't quite connect, but look at the healing coming out onto Chachi with that war mugs. Kobe stayed around, condemns Whirlip back, and pins him in his. Oh, it's gearing up. I, we're going late with this one, and we're going big. So, we talked earlier about armor. Ooh, we might not have time. Look at Whirlip. He's dead. So Whirlip Heroes Entrance comes out. He's not dead yet. Fetty, as Dreams comes in, has the taunt as well. Catches Chachi. Catches another. Self-made. Look for that flank position. Could get onto Humanoid. Norskaren takes a little bit of chip. Zersi there with the Cataclysm as well, but he's just going to run his way out with the EQ combo. And Whirlib, definitely not dead yet, as he has escaped down towards the bottom side. He's the part of the oh, oh, Next, Kabe just going in onto Selfmade here. Jumping forward with the flash. Selfmade gets away. Norskaren with the Glacial Fisher, though, catches out one. Chachi there. Zersik joining the fight as well as Kabe. Continues to tumble forward. Continues to try and condemn SK to defeat, but can't quite land those final shots. Kabe saw the Infinity Edge Rex. Oh, Chachi's like, gonna catch Selfmade. Oh. He's not tanky enough. He goes oh, golden, no. but all he's he doing all is stopping nope. his death. Splice, get away. One Big Crown Shot knocked in, uses the clench, jumps oh. forward, it's the AD carries going in, Humanoid, he's all oh, safe, oh, he survives, and now Crown Shot has to dance backwards, use that martial cadence, come back away from the fight, SK, have Whirlib, no onslaught of shadows yet, but Pyrian has the slows, there's the binding onto Nuskaren, and Crown Shot there, Chachi can't quite land the stun, but puts down the Spirit's Refuge, he's going to be alive for the moment as he gets back away from the fight with Gargoyle stone play. SK, looking for the resets here, they've caught out one, self-made stood down for 20 seconds, but down, because now you look at it, and there's so many summoner spells, the Flash is missing on Crown Shot. But Maybe not looking for a bit of an engagement. Well, it takes a chunk from those spheres. You can continue. Oh, no, Scan has a flash. Chachi caught. Just turns Delphi. on this. But he, he can't take. He taunts him up. Knocked back, there's the point. Ross to dodge it out. The glacial fish comes out as well, but he's dead. And here is entrance now gets into the back line. So let's see with a great lock up. On to Pyrian, on to Whirl. Crown shot though could still do some damage here. The face call pulls them back. No scaring very low. You can see humanoid ticking away on the tormented soil. Kami trying to get on towards that front line. Gets the shut down onto Pyrian. Now he's on Crown Shot, the stand united. It's enough. Will they keep him alive? He gets away from the back of the fight and dreams goes down as well. It's a double kill for Kami. And Splice come out on top. Splice absolutely dumps to that team fight. Now they're looking for more Kabe. On the prowl, what a play from him. They single out self-made at the start, and from there it's easy, and it doesn't matter if SK have triple infernal double mountain, it's still splice to get the Baron. And this time we saw how squishy self-made was and how quickly he died. He took a tunnel into the enemy jungle, and he just walked straight into Vizichachi. The Black Shield wasn't in range, which meant that that was the prime opportunity for Splice as well. So it's something that SK have to constantly respect. And impressively, is actually forcing the Hecarim back to wave and, and come out on top. Yeah, the Baron buff is the ultimate equalizer when it comes to 1v1 matchups inside. Oh, Crown Crown shot. shot! Straight into the GA. The Unleashed Power is just too much damage. Dreams forced away as well. Period opened up on by Kobe here. Dreams gets the Justice Punch in self-made just way too late before he even joins the party. We'll pop the 
avoid rush, but shut down onto Crowshot, shut down onto Dreams, and SK's hopes in this game are being shut down by Splice. It is just Pyrian and Whirlib left to defend. Now, most of Splice are relatively low at the moment, so I don't know if they can look for the end, but they surely look for the inhibitor. Chachi just went back to base, and he has the TP to re regroup. He's going to use it. Whirlib and Pyrian are the last line of defense. You just said it, Ender, but Splice, they have Fnatic set in their eyes. They want to make it to round two. Let's see if SK can... Whirlib oh, gets wow. onto the back line. He shuts down Humanoid, but he will go pop straight into the GA. Now, there is a counter minion here. Still 20 seconds on the vest of SK. They'll take down Whirlib. It's all on Pyrian. Dream's up in seven, but the Nexus Towers have already taken damage. And Kabe has gone legendary with 10 kills. Splice look to close. Splice. It looked like SK may have taken game four, but Splice come a-knocking. They sweep SK under the map, and they prove that they belong amongst the best teams in the LEC. After a good regular season, Splice come into playoffs as heavy favorites. And while game one definitely showcased some mistakes, they cleaned things up. And they were able to get some very impressive in the late game, uh, in the in the final game that mattered the most. Yeah, the, the team fights early on in the series were impressive to watch from them. That game three, they showed a completely different style. Yes. It was impressive from them, the 1-3-1 one, one comp. They show that it's not just the, the one-dimensional play style. They have other tricks up their sleeve. And now going into round two, after 3-1 victory, looking pretty solid. And it was something that you mentioned as well in the game, and that the armor items really did come into fruition later on to the game. Having that front line for Kobe to play around just kind of unleashed the beast. You know, they soaked up so much damage. You said so many members got so low health, and it just kind of showcased that SK's composition could only do so much. And unfortunately, they just couldn't get through that front line, which then allowed Kobe to clean up. What I think I really like from Splice in this series is that little bit of versatility that they showed in game three as well, playing completely through the early game, shoring up that mid game that has been a weakness from them. It feels like they've used a couple of weeks we've had from the end of the split to now to really work on their weaknesses and become a stronger, cohesive unit. They certainly have. And on the other side of things, SK. It's a team that, again, not everyone expected to be making playoffs in their first split back